New tonight. The man who caught two Navy ships nearly colliding in the San Diego Bay has been ordered to take the camera down. The Navy says the camera's live stream shows military activity in the area, but the camera owner says he has a right to film whatever he wants in a public place. Our Sarah Allegra spoke with a legal expert and she is live for us with that story. Sarah. Yeah, Kathleen, we all know San Diego is a Navy town, and let me tell you, many, many people relied on that camera to connect them to something that deeply defines our city. But now that those cameras are being taken away, we now have an interesting debate on our hands, one between privacy and public interest. It might be the San Diego webcam today, but if you don't stand up and call foul now, what's it gonna be tomorrow? This video showing a near collision of two Navy ships at the San Diego Bay back in November, also known as Warship Chicken, now stands at the center of a new controversy. Now we have government censorship simply out of spite because we showed something that they didn't like. Barry Barami is the brains behind several popular San Diego based web cameras, including the one that captured the close call caused by reported communication failures. He says the National Park Service has removed two of his cameras at the Cabrillo National Monument at the Navy's request, citing security concerns. Fox 5 legal analyst Wendy Patrick weighing in. They were very careful not to film anything that might cause privacy issues. At least that's their representation. Running for nearly a decade, Barami says his cameras were removed just days after the Navy's investigation findings were released last month. He's now questioning the timing. We were there for 10 years and to suddenly make up these reasons why they can't do it. That's just baloney. I don't think anybody is, is believing that. The Naval Criminal Investigative Service responding to the matter in a statement to Fox 5 saying in part quote the private webcams and YouTube channel provided 24 hour webcam monitoring of vessels located above Naval Air Station North Island, including aircraft hangars and flight lines. Barami says the Navy's argument has no ground and remove San Diegans and naval families from connecting to America's finest city. There is no logical argument that can be made for Navy concerns because once again, anybody can see anybody, anything here. There are some that might argue there are public vantage points that could very just as easily capture the same thing. Now, despite the Navy's decision, Brahmi says he is fighting back. He's going to add several more web cameras throughout the city of San Diego and says legally this is something that he can do. He also said he's going to develop an app that allows essentially anyone and everyone to provide a live stream web camera to that app. For now, that's the very latest here over at Shelter Island. Sarah Allegra, Fox 5 News. And like you said, an interesting debate. Thank you so much, Sarah. We're on top of